So welcome to Quiz with Seagull. It's Saturday evening, Saturday night at three minutes past eight, and it's bank holiday weekend, and you've joined Bobby Seagull. So, time for round number two. Primary school questions. Okay, so the reason I've got, you can see a poster of myself. Look, have a look. Poster of myself. Okay, the reason I've got this is, on uh, everyone, you know, a lot of us do Joe Wicks. I love Joe Wicks workouts. And they're from 9 to 9.30. After that, uh, at 10 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, uh, with Explore Learning, I offer free Facebook Live Maths lessons. Uh, so Mondays are, apart from this Monday and Bank Holiday, Mondays are Key Stage 1, Tuesday, uh, Wednesdays are Key Stage 2, and Fridays are Key Stage 3. So if you've got kids in Key Stage 1, 2 or 3 who want some fun maths lessons, um, please do get involved. Check out Exploring for Facebook and, you know, instead of pee, do your pee with Joe. Get tired, get sweaty, half an hour to cool down and join me, Bobby Seagull, Maths with Bobby at 10 o'clock. So there is some maths, um, a maths shout out for me. Tana's getting zero. Oh dear. Okay, so here we go. Primary school questions. Are we all ready? All ready? Round two. Okay, let's go. Question one. What is one out of eight to three decimal places? What is one out of eight to three decimal places? And no calculators, no cheating with Mr. Seagull. No cheating allowed. No cheating. You can use short division, long division, bus stop method. You could have memorized things. But no Googling calculators. So what is one out of eight to three decimal places? Let's see uh, how else are we doing. Tottenham and latest on still on two. Hello, David Ames on Twitter. Let's have a look on my, on my YouTube. Okay. That's question number one. I'll give you a little bit of time just to double check that. I'll leave it there in the background so you can um, carry on. Question number two. In a flower, what is the collective name for the style, the stigma, and the ovary. What is the collective name for the style, the stigma and the ovary? So I've got a cousin called Athelia. I think she's in year seven or eight, year seven or eight. You should definitely know this. This question is meant for you. Good, I'm glad people, you know, your brain's coming back, school, school science coming back. So in a flower, what is the collective name for the style, the stigma and the ovary? That's question number two. Hello, um, thank you, Abdi Oliver, really kind words. Hello, A Treads on um, Insta, Sam Barber. Okay, question number three. Okay, so I want you to spell the Egyptian word for monarch, and the word is walk like an Egyptian. Pharaoh, spell the word Pharaoh for me. Walk like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. Is that Egyptian walk? Walk like an Egyptian. So spell the word Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yes, Dan Hodgkinson, primary school teachers expecting you to be smashing this. Hannah, don't worry, it's only one question, the maths one. So um, spell the word Pharaoh. Spell the word Pharaoh. Let's see how my Twitter's doing. So don't forget, at Bobby underscore Seagull, hashtag Quiz with Seagull on your Twitter, your Insta, your TikTok. Just get involved. Okay. Question number four. Around AD 60, Boudicca was the queen of which British Celtic tribe? So around AD 60, Boudicca was the queen of which British Celtic tribe? MC Cuts in the house, well done uh, for getting involved while your other half is. So MC Cuts, Michael Cuts and I worked together uh, on a Royal Institution um, Monkman and Siegel lecture. So my, if you need any sort of scientific experiments, uh, Michael Cuts, your man, check out the Royal Institution. They're doing some amazing um, live science sort of experiments every Thursday at two o'clock. So shout out to MC Cuts there. <laughs> Anthony Lovely says, are you sure this is primary, not PhD university? 
I'd like to think some at some stage in Prime you've covered this. Okay, question number five. In computing, what does RAM stand for? In computing, what does RAM stand for? What does RAM stand for? There's your time, boys and girls. That's round two done. And let's see the answers. There we go. Number one was 0.125. Hello, Instagram people. Hi, hello, Joella Isabella. Uh, well done. Uh, a few of you getting it right on Insta. Thank you. Uh, number two is carpal. That's the, the female part of the flower. Pharaoh, P H A R A O H. Uh, Boudicca, Bodica, the Iceni tribe. And random access memory. Who likes Daft Punk here? Um, so Daft Punk was uh, the clue for uh, question number five. It would have been. 